Okay guys, uh, so today I'm going to tell you how to make a graffiti color piece like you see on the wall behind me. Alright, but first please make sure that you like my videos, you subscribe, and you can share anything you want. I'm trying to build some momentum on my channel right now, so that would really help me out. Alright, the first thing we want to talk about is materials. Yeah, so first you need a permanent marker, probably with a flat tip. Yeah, next you need a pencil and eraser. You need fine liner pens or micron pens like this. Um, I'm going to use the 6 to the 8 for the thicker details, and I'm going to use the 4 to 5 smaller, thinner for the finer details. Yeah. For color, I have these Copic markers, which I got on Amazon. Okay. This is one pack, and it's a limited color set, but there are different packs on Amazon, and uh, they're a very good quality for the price, I think. Yeah. For paper, whenever you're using the permanent marker, you can use normal sketch paper that's a little bit thinner. But for your final composition, you probably want some thicker paper, maybe like watercolor paper or something like that. All right. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is look at different tag styles online. Uh, these are some examples of me practicing tag styles. So you'll see lots of lots of different options online. You should take a look and decide what you like. Once you have your word chosen, uh, today we're going to do M R G T K O. Right? Those are just letters. But once you have your letters or phrases chosen, you can practice different designs. Um, with the tag style and find what you like. Okay, so I'm going to show you a little bit about that now. Basically when you're doing this you want to do it as fast as possible, right? Because if you're doing real graffiti in public you would want to get that done as fast as possible and leave the area or something like that, right? So you could practice here, you can also improvise and change your ideas. Okay, so basically you want to get the best version possible of your tag. Uh, to proceed to the next step, which is tracing, okay? So when you trace, the two important things are that you must trace thicker than your original drawing and you want to overlap your letters. So the strokes that you made with the permanent marker, you should trace them, but you should trace them thicker, like double or triple the size. And then you want to overlap your letters, um, all the letters, but in a way that looks kind of nice or that you like. An easy way to do that is to simply move the paper each time you trace a letter. So before, with the permanent marker, while the letters were separate, now you can simply move that top paper that you're tracing with each time you trace a letter and you can overlap them easily that way. Okay, now that you have your outlines, you want to make them better. You want to add consistency, so some of the strokes are the same, some of the angles are the same, some of the corners are the same. You want to add any features and make sure everything is as good as you want it. So you'll notice I added consistency to the strokes, uh, the direction, the angle, and how they end, right? So it's kind of similar um, in all the different parts of the letters, right? And you can stylize this in lots of many different ways. You know, look online and you'll see lots of options. Remember how you overlapped all the letters when you were tracing earlier? Now what you have to do is you have to erase all the lines that overlap. Okay, it doesn't make a lot of sense right now, but it will later. Erase all the lines that overlap and you're going to have this crazy shape made of letters. Okay, the next part is with fine liner pens like this. And what you want to use on the front face of the letter is the thickest pen you have. Right, it's probably an 8 or 0.8, right? When you make your walls, you have to decide where the letters are coming from. Uh, make a point, and that's the point of emergence. The first part is making small diagonal lines from the ends of the letter strokes that go towards that point. The second part is making the longer lines, which should be pretty much parallel with your inked letter faces that you made earlier. So first these small diagonal lines and then the back walls that connect them. The important part here is that you imagine the shape in three dimensions as if you're actually rotating it and you're looking at the tops of the shapes and the sides of the shapes. Mentally project that and that should help you complete these walls. Now before you continue, you probably want to add some decorations or something extra to the letter faces. Um, I'm going to add some dots here 
and I'm also going to add some drips that are black. Before you color, you're going to want to erase all the pencil. So uh, erase in a circular motion, make sure your ink is dry first, and just erase all the pencil. Uh, you're cleaning up the drawing a little bit and it feels very nice too, actually. Okay, to color, I use Copic markers. Uh, these have a reasonable price. They're on Amazon, although the color palette is limited. Uh, we're going to start with coloring the face of the letters first. So, now to color the walls. Uh, you pick whatever colors you want for the face. In my case, it's green and purple. But for the walls, you want to just pick something high contrast. So if you have a dark color, you want something light. If you have a light color, you want something dark. If you have a medium tone, you want something very light or very dark. Okay, now we're going to go with the background shape. Uh, I'm going to go with a big circle that goes in between the two. On the background shape and the background drip, which I'll do later, I'm not going to use any ink, just color. Alright guys, so thank you for watching the video. Uh, please like, subscribe to my YouTube. I'm Paul Garrison on YouTube. Please also go look at my Instagram, like, subscribe there, follow me there. My Instagram is Paul Garrison Art, one word, all lowercase letters. Uh, also, if you have TikTok, I'm on there. I'm very active there. My name there is Slick Rick Bob Ross, like Slick Rick the rapper, Bob Ross the painting instructor. All lower letters, all one word. Uh, thanks again. If you want me to make you some letters like this and some kind of cool design, I can. Send me a direct message. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you make some beautiful art, some beautiful graffiti letters with this video. Thanks.